Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Link Enforcer, and today we're going to be going over the Shining Force 3 Translation Project, how to patch the games, and how to play them once they're patched. Uh, we are going to uh, be downloading the latest patch here, which is version 24. Uh, from everything that I can tell, it is pretty much a complete patch. Uh, there's just some tweaking here and there that needs to be done. So there are other versions that will probably be released, but to get you going, um, this is going to be a good release to go off of. Also, I don't believe anything is really going to change as far as the installation process or the patch process, rather, uh, in the future. So this this uh, video should help you out even if you are using a version that is past uh, the version 24 release. So every link you're going to need is going to be in the description below as always. And you want to navigate yourself to this website here. Come down here and click download the latest patch. Uh, if this something like this comes up, just allow it. It's fine. Uh, probably depends on what browser you're using if you get that. Uh, but once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and get started uh, with the uh, installation process. All right, guys. So once you have the patch downloaded, uh, there's just a couple things I want to go over real quick uh, before we start. Is that you will need the physical copies of the discs or original copies of the discs in the .bin slash .q or .iso format. I cannot tell you where to get those copies at. But if you want to get the original physical copies of the discs, um, you should be able to find them on eBay. Uh, and if not, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe Amazon, I don't know. Uh, but definitely eBay is the place to go if you don't already have these discs. And for the first uh, scenario, in order to patch it, you're going to need the NA or the PAL version of the game. The Japanese version, Scenario 1, will not work with this patch. So you need the NA or the PAL version of the Shining Force 3 game. And then additional to that, you're going to need the Scenario 2 and Scenario 3 uh, versions of the game that are the Japanese versions. And then also you can also patch the premium disc if you have that as well. I've got all four sitting to the side. Before we get started with that, we need to go ahead and go download Daemon Tools. Uh, this is going to be how you're going to be able to mount the uh, .bin slash .q files or the .iso files of the original copies of the game. That's the route that you go. Uh, so I'm going to hop over to the uh, web browser now. Hi right, guys, so once you're on this website here, uh, we're going to go ahead and download Daemon Tools Lite. Once you have downloaded it and installed it, uh, we're going to run the program, and I'm going to switch over to the program right now so I can explain a few things to you. All right, guys, so once you load up the program, you may have to go through a few things, skip a few things. Uh, I think there's like a little tutorial or a guide uh, when you run it for the first time. But this is going to be how you're going to mount the original copies of the game. Uh, again, cannot tell you where to get those. Google is your friend. Uh, but... That said, this is going to be how you're going to be able to mount those .bin slash .q files, the .iso files, in order to um, get the patcher to work. And speaking of, let's go ahead and head back over and let's get that going. So we're going to double click the .exe. If this comes up, just go ahead and run it anyway. And it wants to know where do we want the patcher to install. So I'm going to navigate that real quick. So as you can see, I have the location on my D drive there, uh, and it's Shining Force 3 V24, because again, this is version 24 of the patch. Once you have that done, just go ahead and click Extract, and it will extract the patch to that location. And now we're going to head over to the where we just extracted that patcher to. All right, so now I'm in that Shining Force 3 V24 folder. You see the SF3 translation right here. Just double-click it. And you're going to be worried about this SF3 patch wizard here. Double click that. And we're going to be running it off of this here. Now, here's the question. Do you have the physical copies? Or do you have original copies of the discs? Uh, if you have the physical uh, copies of the discs, obviously you're going to be putting those into your CD drive and letting those load up uh, before we launch this program here. But if you don't, 
This is where Damon Tools comes in with the original copies uh, that you would have to get somewhere out there in the internet. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and go over how you can go ahead and uh, mount those images now. All right, so this is real simple, guys. So what you're going to do, um, I've got a little example folder here. Uh, this is actually scenario one that I patched. Uh, I don't remember what patch it was, but it was from a couple of years ago. Uh, but I'm going to use that as an example. So once you have the original copy downloaded somewhere from the internet, uh, you're going to open up Daemon Tools. And you're going to click Quick Mount. Navigate to your folder here. You're going to want to select the Q.Q file. The bin files, basically, uh, the Q file reads off the bin files. Uh, so you'll click the Q file, and you'll click Open. And that, that right there will mount the drive for you, and then you can go ahead and you can run the um you can go ahead and run the patcher uh if, if i run it right now it'll pop up searching for games and it's unable to find a game to patch because this one's already been patched whatever the case is now for some reason you have a bad copy you don't have an original copy of the game you may wind up with um something that looks like this and if that's the case just know that you don't have an original original good copy uh, to patch so you need to look elsewhere uh, just word of advice when you're out there in the internet doing this stuff be cautious be wary um, there's a lot of uh, viruses malware out there and uh, you don't want to run across anything that's got that so make sure that when you download anything you're downloading it from somewhere that you trust so whether or not you're going to be um, getting this game online somewhere or using the physical copy uh, the patching process is the same. It's merely how you're uh, either mounting the image or putting the physical copy of the disk into your disk drive. And speaking of which, we're going to go ahead and hop back over. And I'm going to show you how to uh, run the program with the physical disk. And again, this does apply to the image. You just have to make sure that you mount the image first and everything should run just fine. So first thing you need to do is you need to take that NA or PAL version of the Shining Force 3 game. And we're going to need to go ahead and insert it into your disk, disk drive. All right, so once you insert it, it's going to populate. So just give it a second. All right, so as you can see, it's recognized the disk here. And then we're going to double click right here, SF3 translation EXE. So this may happen. Uh, it's telling me that I need a newer version of .NET Core. Would you like to download it now? Go ahead and say yes if you get this message. It will take you to a website, Microsoft, and it will download right here. And then all you need to do is install it all right guys so once you have that installed there go ahead and double click the sf3 translation.exe if for some reason you get another message uh like this then you'll need to just go ahead and double click what you had just downloaded um and repair and then it should work for you but back to this we're at the sf3 translation.exe we're gonna double click it Get this nice little window pop up here. So the search searching for the game. It says, would you like to patch Shining Force 3? One. Yes or no? Of course we want yes. So hit enter. Debu uh, debug mode patch found. Would you like to add the debug mode patch? That's completely optional. I'm going to say no for this uh, tutorial. And then it says, where would you like to save it? So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to my downloads here in my games, programs. And right here, I'm actually going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Shining Force 3 Scenario 1. And I'm going to double click that. And then I'm going to click Save. And now it's going to go through the whole process of patching that NA or PAL version so that we can have a true 
scenario one version of the game. Now it might take a little while, so I'll be back when it's done. All right, guys, so this is welcome back. It's a su success. Game was patched. Would you like to patch another? Now I'm going to go ahead and click yes, because like I said, I have the others uh, with me. Uh, but you will do this with scenario two, scenario three, and then of course the uh, premium disc if you have it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. That way I can shorten this video up and you won't have to go through that. But like I said, it's the same process that we just did with scenario one or the NA PAL version of the disc. So once your last game is successfully patched, I'm just going to move over to, we don't have anything else that we want to patch. We're going to click no. And then it says you're going to get some rest and where you can visit what website you can visit to keep up with the project and a discord so <clears throat> with that done now the only thing we have to do is go over how are we going to play this game so that's what we get into now it's going to be uh the emulator that we're going to use how to get it going and how to run the game on it all right guys so in order to play the games that we just patched we're going to be using an emulator called ssf uh, the good things about this is that the fact it doesn't require a BIOS file, it's going to play the games that we just patched. It's got safe states that are supported as well, which will help out in case the uh, emulated backup memory doesn't work. And one thing to note just real quick is that in order to get these games to run properly on SSF, is uh, you will need a BIOS file. Again, I cannot tell you where to get this. Uh, just like the original copies of the game, cannot tell you where to get those. But in order to avoid any problems while running the game, uh, you will need the BIOS file. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down. Don't worry about this here. Go ahead and click on the GitHub link. It'll take you here. We're looking for the preview versions. Click on Assets and come down to Preview Version 28. That's the newest one. Click on it and let it download. Once it's downloaded, go to where you have it. We're going to extract it. And then you can stick this pretty much anywhere you want, uh, but double click it and double click it in that folder there. And we're going to be looking for the ssf.exe. Go ahead and double click that. This window will pop up. Just click more info and run anyway. And we'll get a small little window right here that pops up. So first thing, come to options, go to option, and this is where you can put in like the BIOS file and um, just leave area code to auto. Um, and we can go ahead and move this up to uh, do backup RAM cartridge, I believe is what I what I had done before. Here you can mess with the screen. Uh, I would pretty much leave it. The way that it is, you can do widescreen. Don't do VSync. It tends to slow the game down. Um, and we're going to go ahead and go over to our controller here. And we're going to redefine. So click on redefine here. Have your controller plugged in. Click on redefine. And then it's going to ask you for what key. So up, we want up, down, left, right. Uh, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, L, and R. Start. And then for the rapids, I just use the joysticks because I'm, I'm never going to use that. I just move it around until it takes it. So we've got our controller mapped out. And you can mess with some more stuff over here. I leave it pretty much just the way that it is uh, but what we're going to do is click ok it's going to ask for please for a restart click ok we're going to go and we're going to exit we'll click quit the application and we're going to come back to ssf.exe double click it load this back up go to file load cd image and basically what you do is you're going to go to where you have your uh, game patch uh, at and right here is our scenario one 
attached. It's going to be the Q file. Click it, click open, and then you're going to click Alt and enter to enter full screen. As you can see, the game is now running for us. Uh, it's patched and ready to go. Uh, don't forget about um, Shining Force Central. Uh, that's going to be the best place to go for any updates to this patcher. Uh, they also have a forum that you can join where you can ask questions if you need to and uh, get feedback or advice if you're having any issues or trouble. Um, but this is pretty much the easiest and fastest way that I know to get this game going and running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click Start. And as you can see down at the bottom, it says Translation Version 24. Again, it's another way you can verify that it's been patched. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, just to recap, we've uh, downloaded the patcher, we installed the patcher, we patched the games, and uh, now we're running them through SSF. Uh, if you have uh, any questions or comments, again, guys, you can go to Shining Force Central or just drop them down in the comment section below. I respond to every comment that comes my way. Also, if you like this video and it helped you out, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, turn on that bell icon so you know when I upload new videos. And with that, I'm going to get out of here, guys. You guys take care, and I'll see you in the next one.